The world's most expensive sheep has been sold in Scotland for over $490,000. I have never been this nervous shearing a sheep. 350,000 guineas, 367,000 pounds, sportsman's double diamond. I hear he's even bigger than he was when he was sold two years ago. Let's go take a look. Wow, what a privilege this is. Sportsman's double diamond. The, the world famous sportsman's double diamond. A quick Google search will see you how well reported this sale was. He's massive. I mean, if he decides he's leaving, he's definitely leaving. He's a very well behaved ram. And so you might be thinking, why such a big price tag for a sheep? Well, this guy, of course, we could probably argue he's one in a million, but breed character. I, I'm no expert in this. I've been well advised. Breed character, he's got tons of it. Beautiful, bright white hairs, nice big tear duct, solid head, incredible carcass. I mean, like this guy must be. 160 to 180 kilos I, I couldn't even guess the weight of him and he's just a powerhouse of a sheep something special even to me who is no expert in, in texels can look at him and know he is something special now 350,000 guineas huge money this ram was split three ways between three of the biggest breeders in the texel society and it's a different game at the top end of of every pedigree breed there is this level that is just chasing the perfect specimen with all the breed character that they need and this guy has it as I said. Now Alan who has a third share of this ram and whose farm we're at today sold one ram lamb off of this top for a hundred thousand guineas so he's already almost got his third of his share back on that one ram. His daughters off of this ram went on to gross almost double that so he's well in profit after a rather hefty outlay. I imagine he had a few sleepless nights hoping this guy bred as well as he looks, and he certainly has, and he's such a unit. Anyway, we'll not keep you standing any longer. We call him Big DD. What about Big, Big DD? We'll not keep you standing any longer, big guy. Let's get his wool off. Let's go. Really you, you holding it? Aye, aye. Right, here we go. This is actually the hardest part. There's not that much wool on him. Oh! New deadlift PR. Okay, now, steady big lad. Oh wow, I'm nervous, here we go. Steady big boy, you've no wool in the belly, so that's good, we can't make any mistakes there. St stay calm. Okay, here we go. I'm not shaking, you are. Are you started? All right, right, sorry boy. Oh. Wow. I'm being very... Very light on the handpiece because I don't want to catch any of this guy's wrinkles or muscle. Oh wow, I am struggling. He is literally one kick away from standing up on me here. To be perfectly honest with you, I need to be very careful. Steady big boy, just please let me get past this bit. Don't stand up yet. I think that's enough there. I'm conscious I've got to make a perfect job here because he's the perfect sheep. Right, big man, you're a heavy boy. Let me stand you up. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, sorry about this. Wow, you're okay. I am struggling here. I've shown a lot of big sheep, but he is just so powerful. Right. I've got to be constantly tense, ready for him to throw me off. I'm glad he is so bare and he doesn't have so much wool. Oh, big lad. Let's lie you down then. Not that I had much choice in the matter. He, he growls a bit like a lion, like he's got a real deep guttural noise that he's making there as I'm shearing him. Steady boy, steady, let me come in here. I'm going nice and steady, nice and slow. 
Doing my best not to upset you. There you go. You're all good. Let me get all these wee bits that I've been too nervous on. You're okay. You're okay. Usually in a normal sheep you take two or three long blows but because this guy's got a back like a table I can take four or five here and really get a lot of this off while he's lying flat which is handy because when we got onto this last side there's going to be a lot of pressure on my body and on his of course Now we didn't think about this bit, getting them back up. Because he's so heavy. Right boy, here we go. Oh, oh steady, steady. And this is where we've got an advantage because we've managed to get so much wool off. Down that other side. Oh, oh big boy. And the sweat is like, I am absolutely soaked in sweat. Part of it's the pressure. And part of it's the fact that he's so big and strong. He just cannot relax at any point with this top. And he'll make a fool of you. Maybe he's already making a fool of me, I'll need to watch this back and find out. Steady boy. These wee bits I couldn't reach before. Oh, all the ridges. Tidy. Do I get the front of Miles if he runs away? He's just gonna run away. Well, he's not. He's not gonna run away. We can't let him go. You ready? My big boy, stand up. Oh, how was that? Oh, I know how you feel. Wow. There we go. Now, usually I'd say something witty and fun about, wow, that was really exciting, or that was hard. I am absolutely soaked in sweat. I don't know why I thought I should wear a jumper, because I definitely shouldn't. And uh, Big DD here, Sportsman's Double Diamond, is ready for back out to the field. I can tell he's put up with me long enough. You were, I would, I'd say you were a good uh, customer, but you've just done what you wanted the whole time. Thanks again to our sponsors, HRN, and thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Let's go boy, come on, bye. Oh, all right, you just go. My name's Cammy Wilson and I've been shearing sheep for over 10 years and now I'm on a mission to shear every breed of sheep in the UK. So make sure and click that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up and come along for the ride. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Sure you'll enjoy it, does that, does that work?